What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online and today we've gone through the three primary free roam ways of making money. Tested the best ones that we know of against each other to find out what is the ultimate best way of making money. Now there is debate between Showdown being part of the mix. These are free roam ones. Showdown is good uh for making money and gold at the same time it's especially good for that as far as earning money itself if the loading screens weren't so long in that uh in the showdown series it probably would be the best actual money making method but when you're not so good at it in my case i haven't been able to get it to perform better than the best method which we'll get into in today's video for the sake of testing these areas what i did is i did each method for 30 minutes i just tested it the best i could for 30 minutes now there is the variable of certain lobbies having different spawns uh and and j there's just a different amount of animals that will be in certain areas in different lobbies so it, it is possible that the lobbies i tested were happened to be better or worse at the time i tested them there is that variable i just didn't know of a way of getting around it except for doing like tens and tens of hours of testing so instead we've gone 30 minutes for each area i started the test right when i would begin my my the method and i ended it as soon as i got to the butcher i tried to get every single one to be 30 minutes maybe they went to 31 or 32 but around that area for the carcass method uh this is the first one i tested and i grabbed a turkey because turkeys are really good um they're a medium-sized animal but you can place them very precisely and get the fish they're smaller so the fish get up there and it, they work really well for this method i tested this one for 30 minutes started as soon as i uh started placing the carcass and what i found was when you're using the this form of farming right and i use lake owangila or wanila i don't know the exact pronunciation of it uh, and there's three different areas i would rotate in between because if you use this area in one spot that spot will the fish there will diminish and eventually you'll run out of fish to get from the carcass method so this lake has three different locations you can go on and we did a video about it previously if you want to see those locations but it's kind of hard to get the carcass in place and i found myself spending a lot of time trying to move the carcass around to get in the perfect spot there are certain areas where you can place a carcass and it's much easier this lake has one such spot where it's just easy dump and go but the other areas take some precision and i found myself moving uh, the carcass around a little bit um, to try and get that perfect area and it ended up costing me some farming time um, and it can be a little bit tricky when, when you're walking in and out of the area. Sometimes the fish just end up not being interested. So I did lose a little bit of time at that, but I used the Lake Owangila that I thought was the best place to test this continuously for 30 minutes because it's one of those few places where all the areas are near each other. Eventually when you use this carcass method, the fish run out and you have to wait a, a time before they come back. This method, now it, it was on the lower end of the spectrum and I'll admit I the carcass was just some for some reason today a little bit harder to place I did not spend like an extraneous amount of time placing carcasses but I only earned $47 for 30 minutes of farming on uh, this lake and it didn't work as well as it did yesterday for me when I was testing it uh, for the video and the guide on how to carcass fish here but even if it would have worked a lot better it was so far from the other methods which leads us into hunting. That's the second method I tested. And I'll be the first one to say, I'm, I have not often used this method of uh, gaining money before. At, like I haven't used it nearly as much as I've done the fishing methods. So I'm not too familiar with the hunting method, but I do know that above St. Denis in Lemoyne and around Rhodes are a plethora of different animals and we can get those birds that are so good and i wanted to focus on hunting like the spoonbills and the uh the other birds that are worth money because their plumes are so cost effective you can get three off a single bird that shot well and they're like a dollar plus each so i was focusing on those birds and just really like everything that i could hunt and just trying to maximize the effectiveness of it this is the first time i'd really gone in and testing a hunting method hunting method like this and started in roads rode around a little bit above uh saint denis and then made like this big circle came back down it the whole rotation ended up taking about 
30 minutes and I was able to earn $106 doing this. Now, I was kind of surprised by this because I haven't used this hunting method before. And I was a little bit lucky for, for me because I'm not the best shot. And I was getting a lot of first shot kills on these different animals, which especially helped when I crossed the bridge from roads to like that swampy area. And there's that bird spawn there. I was able to get four birds to spawn there, which clearly help the spoon bills are worth so much money and then moving on to the gators are those are easy one shots but the other animals like deer i normally miss a shot or two i would got a lot of good clean kills and this is something that's going to affect you when you're using the hunting method if you're getting those clean kills i think on the deer is the hardest for me because they uh, react to you being in the area and pulling out your guns so much quicker than most animals and they start running around the head bob so and deer are worth actually a lot if you didn't know a perfect deer carcass is worth much more than a perfect alligator skin it's almost double the value actually i think it is because the perfect alligator skin is 350 and a perfect deer carcass is seven dollars so store those if you're using the hunting method over the alligator skins I ended up taking a deer in with, in with me off my shoulder because there's that little place above roads. But this earned me ultimately $106 per half hour. That's over 200 in an hour, which is really good. I haven't tested it before and it worked a lot better than I thought it did. Just basically shot and got everything that I thought was worth getting. Um, and that moves on to the final method that we used. And this is a video we did yesterday, I believe, and it is the best money farming area that i have ever come by in red dead online to date and that's because it's so close to the butcher in blackwater which is sturgeon fishing initially a while ago i had made a video on the channel saying that this was by far the best method but then i started to become of the opinion that it, it got worse and worse i started to only be, only be able to get certain like maybe three or four sturgeon right next to the butcher there and started to become a place where i didn't use it very often but recently found out the simplest thing that if you just go farther south from the butcher along the lake there, there's a spawn, two more spawns for sturgeon that just work so well and have so much sturgeon. And if you catch two of them, put one on your horse and then carry the other one in your hands, you're close enough to the butcher that it's just a short you know, run there and you sell two sturgeon. So what I did is I just rotate between the guy, between fishing right outside the butcher and then taking my horse down once that spot was a little fished out, down so, uh, more south and fishing on the lakeside there. And I ended up catching 18 sturgeon in 30 minutes. And there was no sign that I was going to start running low on sturgeon to catch. It just, they just kept coming, kept coming. It works so well. There's a guide to the, this specific fishing method in on the channel. We'll link it down below in the description. But this method was the best method. I earned $130, $130 in the half hour that I used it. There was no sign that the sturgeon were going to they were going to stop spawning. They kept spawning, kept spawning, kept spawning. There were so many fish. Um, and as long as you're using the technique of loading into a lobby like Lemoyne or New Austin and then fast traveling to Blackwater, I haven't had a real big issue with another player coming to Blackwater and then griefing you. I've had occasionally another player even coming to Blackwater and when they do, it's normally they're going to the store or something and they've left me completely alone. So I, I haven't had any issues with the griefing there as long as you set up the lobby properly, which is super simple. You know, you just load in to Lemoyne or New Austin and then fast travel to Blackwater. But that's the 30 minute breakdown of the three main free roam methods. Now, if you guys have something that you found to be better, let me know in the comments down below. We can start venturing down that road of finding out even more and better money-making methods. At the moment, Showdown series is really good because you're earning gold at the same time, but if you're more of a free roam style, the sturgeon is hard to beat. Hunting's a lot more entertaining. The sturgeon is just the same thing over and over and over. Out of these 30 minute tests, that was definitely the one that felt like it was taking the longest. Hunting's fun, but there's a big risk in the hunting. There's a big risk. If you get shot on your way back, you're losing, you know, you're not gonna lose $100, but you're probably gonna lose $50 because 
those pelts and those carcasses that you bring in are what are worth the most. Thank you guys for checking the video out. If you made it this far, give the channel a sub. Appreciate the support and hope to see you in a future video.